In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about the difference between ordinary derivative and partial derivative. If you could remember in our introduction to differentiation, I told you differentiation is the rate of change of one quantity over another. And we have differentiated so many types of functions. So in today's tutorial, I will be using an algebraic equation as an example. An algebraic equation contain a dependent variable an independent variable and sometimes this dependent variable will have to depend on more than one variable two or more example sometimes we may have y equals maybe 2x plus x to the power of 3 you can see y as a dependent variable only depends on x and other times you may have an equation in this form 2xz plus z squared you can see in this case y depends on x and z so ordinary derivative only occurs when our dependent variable depends on a single variable but partial derivative occurs when the dependent variable y depends on more than one variable you can see here we have x and y so to differentiate this function with respect to x we're going to use the notation dy with respect to x this is an ordinary derivative and sometimes written as f prime of x this is for ordinary Then for partial, we have to use delta notation, del y over del x. If you are differentiating this function with respect to x alone, therefore you have to keep z constant. And sometimes written as f subscript x. And if you are to differentiate it with respect to z, treating x as constant which can also be written f of z all these two are partial so now let us look onto the application of this suppose you have a cylinder a cylinder is three-dimensional figure therefore it has a volume capacity the height of the cylinder is represented by h and you know the base is a cycle therefore it has a radius to find the volume of this cylinder you have to take the area of the base multiplied by the height so volume is equal to area of a cycle is pi r squared multiplied by the height to obtain the volume of the cylinder. So now let us apply the idea of partial derivative here. Now if I decide to increase the height of this cylinder, you can see I have increased the height of the cylinder, but radius remain constant because I have not increased the weight of this cylinder. By increasing the height of the cylinder, definitely the volume will increase as well. So I'm going to obtain a change in volume and also a change in height because we have increased the height and definitely the volume will have to increase. This is to say, the volume can increase while the radius is constant. So this is to say we, are, we can differentiate V with respect to H leaving R as constant. Therefore, we are going to call it as partial V partial H. This is equal to, we are going to differentiate the function with respect to H alone, treating everything as constant already pi is constant 
and we are going to treat this function as constant as well. Differentiating h, we get 1 multiplied by pi r squared. So we have pi r squared. I may decide to increase the radius and leave height as constant. By doing so, the volume will also increase. Let me show you what I mean. If this is a cylinder, of height h, it has a volume and radius. I may decide to expand it, expand the wide. Definitely this radius will change, but the height will remain constant. So we're going to obtain a change in this radius as well as a change in volume. But height remain constant because I have not increased the height of the cylinder, rather the radius. So in this case, we are going to obtain del V del R, treating H as constant. So from here, we are going to differentiate this initial function with respect to R, treating H as constant. Already pi is constant here. So if we differentiate r squared, you're going to obtain 2r. So this is equal to 2 pi r h. 2 pi r h. So this is the idea behind differentiation using partial derivative. So what about ordinary derivative? Let us use a cycle as a key study. If you have a cycle, a cycle has a center and radius. Every portion you can see here is the area of this cycle. And the area of a cycle A can be obtained using the formula pi r squared. Remember, pi is constant. So it means that A, which is our area, only depends on r. So every change on r will have to affect a because a depends on r so if i decide to increase the radius of this cycle we are going to obtain a change in the radius likewise a change in our area because you can see the area has increased now after increasing the radius so we are going to obtain a change this time around we have to use da over dr because this is a total derivative it depends on only single variable this is equal to 2 pi r so now you can see the difference between partial derivative and ordinary derivative in partial derivative you can differentiate a function with respect to one quantity leaving all other quantities as constants so this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day.